In the last lesson, we learned the basic Somali conversation and the general idea of writing and reading the Somali language. And in this lesson, you will learn vocabulary about things in the house. And also, you will learn the different articles, plurals, and possessive pronouns. For example, bug, boga, the book. Bug, bogag, books. Bug, bugega, my book. And so many others. Wa'malink of Somalia, Abdurrahman Abzi, and Bilono. Erayo plus ma'no plus qodob, which means words plus meaning plus definite article. So in Somali language, the definite articles are very, very important when you're making a sentence. Or maybe you're going to say, my book, my table, my chair, etc. Like when you're going to use possessives in Somali, it's very important to use definite articles before you say my. All right, let's start. So make sure you read with me. Kursi. Kursiga. Kursi. Kursiga. Miss Miska Miss Miska Sarir Sarirta Sarir Sarirta Armajo Armajada Armajo Armajada Fadi Fadiga Fadi Fadiga Mobel Mobelka Mobel Mobelka Lag Lagta Lag Lagta Now let's repeat one more time. I am going to say the words, you're going to say the definite articles. For example, if I say kursi, you will say kursiga. Okay, let's do it together. Kursi. Mm -hmm. Miss. Sarir. Armajo. Fadi Mobel Lag That was very good. Kursiga, Miska, Sarirta, Armajada, Fadiga, Mobelka, and Lagta. Very nice. Now, can o keni wa and tan o teni wa. That means in Somali, this is. So for the masculine nouns, you use keni or can. And for the feminine nouns, you use teni or tan. So lab means male or masculine. Dedig means female or feminine. So keni People in Northern Somalia use that most of the time and can people in Southern Somalia use that. Same as tani and tan. Just same meaning but different regions they use different ways. So in Mogadishu we just use the shortened way which is can and tan. Alright, 
Now let's begin and read with me. Kursi Kanwa Kursi Kursi Kanwa Kursi Mis Kanwa Mis Mis Kanwa Mis Sarir Tanwa Sarir Sarir Tanwa Sarir Armajo Tanwa Armajo Armajo Tanwa Armajo Fadi Kanwa Fadi Fadi Kanwa Fadi Mobel Kanwa Mobel Mobel Kanwa Mobel Lag Tanwa Lag Lag Tanwa Lag Now let's learn Kelly Yodar singular and plural in Somali. In Somali language, we use most of the time the singular nouns because in Somali language, if you use number, then you don't need to mention the plural noun. For example, in English, if you say five chairs, if you use a number which is five and the noun is still plural, chairs, but in Somali, if you use number, you just need to use the singular noun. For example, you can say, you could say five chair, five book, something like that. That's how in Somali language is. But it's still, it's very good to know the plural nouns because sometimes the things cannot be specific. So you have to use the plural noun. Now let's read together. Kursi, Kuras. Kursi, Kuras, Mis, Mises, Mis, Mises, Sarir, Sariro, Sarir, Sariro. Armajo, Armajo in Armajo, Armajo in Fadi, Fadio Fadi, Fadio Mobel, Mobello. Mobel, Mobello, Lag, Lag. So Lag, singular and plural noun are just the same. So Lag is Lag in singular or in plural. Now let's go to Lahansho, which means in Somali, possessives. So in Somali language, possessives has so many confusing rules. But for this lesson, we're going to learn rule for my Masculine and feminine nouns only. All right, now let's read together. And the main rule is add the masculine nouns, definite article, then add ya, ga at the end. And for feminine nouns, you just need to add the definite article first, then ya, da, a at the end. For example, kursi is a masculine noun. Add the definite article, which is ga. That is kursi ga plus ya ga at the end. That will be kursi ga, ga my chair. And sarir is a feminine noun, so add definite article. That is sarirta and add ya ga at the end. Sarir teida. All right. So mis, it's miska ya ga. That's my 
So means Kega Armajo a definite article Armajada then my Armajadeda Fadi definite article Fadiga my Fadigega Mobile definite article Mobelka my Mobile Kega Okay then Lag definite article Lagta plus Ya Gaa then Lagtheida that's how the rule is. So when it's masculine, ya ga then kursi ga. When it's feminine, ya da then lag teida. Now let's read together, and I hope you understand the rule. Kursi, kursi ga, kursi ga, kursi, kursi ga, kursi ga. Miss. Miska, Miskega, Miss, Miska, Miskega, Sarir, Sarirta, Sarirteida, Sarir, Sarirta, Sarirteida, Armajo, Armajada. Armaja deida Armajo Armaja da Armaja deida Fadi Fadiga Fadigeiga Fadi Fadiga Fadigeiga Mobel Mobelka Mobile Kega Mobile Mobile Ka Mobile Kega Lag Lagta Lagtaida Lag Lagta Lagtaida And now let's go to the last part for our class Lahan Show plus to sale possessives plus examples so you will have three questions as an exercise to translate into Somali so now let's understand this and after that you will have to solve the exercises and send to our whatsapp group with you voice notes and if you didn't join our whatsapp group yet you can find the link on my youtube's community tab or maybe you can go to my TikTok account, then my profile bio you can find there as well. So the idea for this lesson is to say Lahan Sho, that means a noun with my, then we use with a sentence. For example, the first one, Kursigeiga wa jaban yahai. My chair is broken. Wa means is, jaban yahai means broken. So Javan broken yahai is for masculine nouns. If it's feminine like sarir, sarir teida wa jaban tahai. Sometimes you can say way for feminine, but we're just writing the spoken Somali. We're not writing the textbook Somali. That's why I used wa for everything. Okay. So kursigeiga wa jaban yahai. And then miskeiga wa wen yahai. When is big, when yahai is for masculine. And then arma jadeida wa wain tahai. My shelf is big, so wain tahai is for feminine tahai. Now you have exercise translate into Somali. The first one is my couch is big, my mobile is broken, and my money is a lot. A lot means badan. I just showed you with this file. So do this exercise and share with us on our WhatsApp Pro Somali group with you voice notes so that we see you are pronouncing in the right way. And thanks for watching this video. Please like the video so that YouTube can help me reach wider audience. And if you like these kind of Somali lessons, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss every week a very high quality Somali lesson. 
And if you are a very fan of short videos, I also make three summer lessons every week on my TikTok account. So check that as well and follow me there so that you see every week three amazing summer lessons on my TikTok. Mahatsanit, Navad Kaliyo.